half, like that, steam it. And I'll tell you the width in a minute that I've used. Then bring each side into the center. And this way it's straight because you have your center line as a guideline. Okay, then at the end, bring it, see if you can see that. Let's see, press. Okay, look at, see how neat that looks? Now, I'm going to show you what I do with it. I have a small area to work, so. Um, I don't have one of those fancy sewing rooms like some people do, but I do fine. Okay, now. We're going to take one of our panels. And by the way, this one here is 11 by 8 and a half. My tab, the width on, I cut seven inch. You can cut the length at any length you want, especially if you're making several bags the same color. <laughs> it's three inches wide. Okay, I decided on a, it's kind of an off-white zipper. So, you see the end here. Push it down like that. First of all, what I should show you, um, I allow about, let's see, I would say about a half inch on each side. Let me put a pin there, I'm gonna show you. It's about that, okay. So you want your zipper that length. So you take your zipper, take your, I'm using the same color as the lining. First of all, you evenly cut the end. Then take your fabric, that's going to be the tab, and put it in there, pin it, make sure it's straight, see if you can see that. Another pin, okay, you see? kind of play with it, make sure that it is straight. Okay, so then you can cut that off and cut the other. So you end up like that. Then you take it over here and need to cut this other end. Now I cut that much off of it. Take your tab and pin it. Just a second. I think I have my mic backwards. Oops, excuse my fingers. As you know, I'm working with a, a new camera. So hopefully you can hear. My voice is loud enough. <laughs> okay. 
You pin that, pin that, then you cut that side again, and that. Okay, there is your two ends. Now, let's move this a little bit. Um, I use, you need a zipper foot. And this is a zipper foot. That's right there. Hopefully you can see that. With the regular foot, you can't get close enough. And it's impossible to put the zipper on. My zipper foot's in. So, you want to sew, make sure you've got both, you know, the zipper and the tab. There is that one. We'll do the other one. That end is sewed. Now, we want to come over here and we want to open our zipper up and place the zipper right sides together. like that and make sure you pin it. This is really important that you pin. Okay, it is pinned. Now we're going to come over here and sew. And like I said, without the zipper foot, you can't do this. You have to get close enough. to the zipper pull, you need to work it past, there we go, because you can't sew when that's in the way. show you. Now we're going to put the other panel. And you can kind of play with, make sure, like I want my butterflies to go the same way. 
So you take that panel and you pin it. Make sure your ends match as much as possible. And remember, you can always trim. You do, don't, you know, get upset or think you can't do this because it's not just perfect or precise. You can trim. Of all the videos that I've also watched on YouTube, I can't think of her last name, but her first name is Darlene. <laughs> She's pretty blunt, I have to say. But you know what? 